This is one of my best free trading view indicator that I use in scalping the five minutes time frame. And in this video tutorial, I'm going to walk you step by step on how to use this indicator, how to set it up and how to equally complement it with one other indicator to make sure that you are always taking the right signals. Okay, this indicator can give you up to 90% win rate on your day-to-day -day trading. So if you are new to the channel, if this is your first time of seeing my videos, consider subscribing, hit the notification bell to be the first to be notified each time videos like this are published. If you don't have an account with TradingView already, use the link in the video description to sign up for one. And if you are going to trade crypto with this strategy, I recommend signing up with BitGet Exchange. I have a link in the video description, okay? And as a new user, you can get up to $4,000 welcome bonus. So check out the link in the video description. So before we go further into setting up this indicator, this is how to use the indicator on its own. Okay, you can use this indicator alone on its own, but I'm actually going to show you how to complement it with one other indicator to make sure that you avoid taking false signals. So the best way we use this indicator now the yellow line ticker line you're seeing here is the 200 moving average it comes with the indicator and then this is a buy signal okay so whenever we get this blue arrow printed below okay the the, the candlesticks it means it is a buy signal and then when we get the yellow arrow printed on top it is a sell signal okay so whenever you see this arrow printed all right on the chart you will equally see aside the ticker line which is the 200 moving average there's this other line that is called the x trend line okay this tiny line is the x trend line and this works with this buy and sell signal so whenever we have um, an arrow that is printed a, a blue arrow that is printed you see that the line equally changes to blue and then when you have um the yellow arrow printed you see that the line equally follows suit and change to yellow okay so this is our buy signal and when we get the buy signal okay we want to always take the buy signal when the candlesticks are trading above the 200 moving average remember in my videos i always tell you that you should make the trend your friend okay so the 200 moving average is used to measure the trend of the market all right so whenever you see the 200 moving average moving upward and then the candlesticks are trading above the 200 moving average that is when we look for buy signals okay and then for sell signals what you do is the opposite all right so we get this arrow here all right and then we we'll wait for the candlestick it's actually on this candle and you see it's on top of the um the 200 moving average so you would have waited for this to go and then take your entry in the next candle and as you can see if you have followed this trend if i bring my long position to now, whenever I'm scalping the market, okay, the risk reward ratio, depending on the time frame I'm trading with, okay, is always between 1.5 to 2.1. Okay, so I'm always targeting either 1.5 times the amount of money I'm risking or two times the amount of money I'm risking. All right. So if we have target um set a risk reward ratio to 2.1, then you see that this trade would have been in profit. And if I follow the trend by being dynamic in my stop loss, okay. Uh, then I would have still made more money in this trade. Okay, so this is how simple it is to use this indicator. So right now I'm going to show you how to set up this indicator. All right, so here I am on the trading view. So all I just need to do is to go ahead and you know remove all of the indicators I have here. Then to add up the indicator, just come in here to the indicator tab, click on it, and then the first indicator we want to add, which is the one I just showed you how to use right now, is the extreme trend indicator okay so just type in extreme trend which is this first one here you can go ahead and favorite it all right so click on it to add it up to your chart and this is how the indicator looks like okay so here you don't need to do any setting but you can change these signal lines okay um or the arrows to any color of your choice so to do that just come in here to the setting icon once you come in here this is the extreme line that follows the arrow okay this arrow is your buy arrow and then this is your sell arrow so the extreme line equally follows that so, so if i toggle this off you see that the extra line goes off and then if i toggle it it come up so you can change the line okay you can turn this to green and red if you want if that is what you prefer but i like it the way it is right now okay so you can go ahead and toggle this um and change the colors if you want all right now for a sell trade for instance if you get it a, a signal right here make sure that the candlesticks are trading below 
the 200 moving average that way you go ahead and take the trade okay so this would have been a valid a signal okay if you have taken this trade it would have been valid this would have equally been valid okay because you see that the market continued downward so this would have profited you enough but if we use this indicator on its own okay we can get into trouble because of some of these false signals that you receive very often so what we can do right now is to complement this indicator with one other indicator all right so to add up the second indicator we'll go to the indicator tab click on it and then what you want to do is to go ahead and type in here squeeze momentum okay so this is the indicator go ahead and favorite this so squeeze momentum by lazy bear go ahead and click and add up this indicator to your chart okay so the indicator has been added to our chart and this is how the indicator looks like all i need to do what i personally do okay you can use this indicator the way it is but what i personally do is to go to the setting uh, option here okay so i want to make the color more okay more visible so i want to make sure that i click on the colors and adjust them because i want it to be more visible so just go ahead and click on all of that and adjust them you see that the colors are beginning to come out all right so after that you just go ahead and click on ok that is all you need to do the way we use this squeeze momentum indicator and the extreme trend indicator is very simple okay so whenever we get a sell signal from the extreme trend indicator okay first we want to know that these candlesticks are trading below the 200 moving average that is for a sell signal okay and then once we get that we want to make sure that the squeeze momentum indicator it has equally started printing red okay so once all of these conditions are met you go ahead and enter a trade so as you can see here all right so if we have entered a trade here this would have been a valid trade and this would have equally been a winning trade okay another signal that is valid right here is this one here the one that is not valid signal is this one okay we have green candles printed here we have you know the um, buy signal here but because these candlesticks are trading below the 200 moving average we cannot take this trade now let me show you an example for a buy trade now for buy signals okay whenever you get a buy signal okay make sure that the candlesticks are trading above the 200 moving average and then the last confirmation will be that the squeeze momentum is actually printing green before you can actually enter the trade for instance this signal we got here okay yes the candlesticks are trading above the 200 moving average but the squeeze momentum has not printed a green candle yet so we have to wait which means that our entry would have been somewhere around here okay our entry would have been somewhere around here or somewhere around there if we have entered this trade somewhere around there this would have equally been a winning trade okay so here is a bonus tip for you when we are in an onward trend okay whenever the candlesticks are trading above the 200 moving average you see that um the, the the stronger the momentum in the market okay the more wider you see the space between the candlesticks and the 200 moving average so when this happens, you can see the whole of this space here you notice that you continue to get you know buy signals okay you continue to get buy signals but what i normally do okay this is what i do personally because it is not all of these buy signals you receive that are valid Okay, what I do is whenever there is too much white space between the 200 moving average and the candlesticks, I'll wait because what the market normally do is whenever the market is in an upward trend, okay, it normally uses the 200 moving average, okay, as a support. And then during downtrend, it uses the 200 moving average as a resistance. So what we want to do is to wait for these candlesticks to come closer to the 200 moving average okay whenever we notice that it's now using the 200 moving average as a support and then we'll get a buy signal we'll go ahead and take that particular signal so an example of what i'm trying to say is this okay let's say i took this signal that brought me here i'm not going to take this particular signal so what i have to do is to wait for this candlesticks to return back okay to cover up this space this white space you're seeing here for it to return back you can see here that the the 200 moving average is now serving as a support okay so we can take this signal and you see here that this is actually a valid signal would have followed this trend and would have made profit okay so whenever you see this white space between the candlesticks okay and the moving average just wait all right until the market come and retest the 200 moving average 
and then when it bounces back and you get a signal you go ahead and take that signal i hope this video is helpful if it is give it a thumbs up okay like this video and share it with your friends and if you do have any issue if you do have any challenge you can always use the comment section and ask a question moreover you can join my telegram group okay where you can interact with others as well link will be in the video description and i will see you guys in the next video